Everton Football Club means the world to me. The best way to explain it is, after my wife and my kids, it's Everton Football Club. <laughs> Anyone want anything from the shop? Fred Osla. Used to be 10 pence back in the day then. Do you need it on, champ? Go ahead, lad, you get in. I'll lift it off you. No problem, lad. There you go, mate. Have a nice day. So that, lad. It's a family orientated club. Everyone knows everyone. You come to Goodison Park, it's the same faces that was here when I was 10 years old. What I love, my brother took me to my first football match, my eldest brother Craig. Don't remember how exactly he got me in this place, but he got me in here. My love affair with Everton started from there, 10 years old. This is where I used to be as a kid. My seat was right by this pillar. This is where I would sit. The goals I've seen here, I was here for Wimbledon. Yeah, first time I'd ever been on the pitch. Ripped a piece of turf out the grass, wrapped it up in my scarf and put it in my Mars loft. The amount of times you're going with a sore throat for me it was unbelievable. I come home to my mum and be like, What's the matter with you? I just sound like you've got a cough on I'd be like, Mum, we've been singing, screaming and shouting. She just didn't get it. Everton! Everton! My memories, which a lot of people laugh at me for, are relegation battles and I'm not going to lie, some of my greatest days have been them relegation fights. I didn't see that coming. The first one goes in. And I'm thinking, the fire's being lit underneath them. They're having a go. The second one goes in. It's Wimbledon all over again. And then I think it was Dom. This place just goes insane. To feel what them players felt that day, the manager, I mean, I squeezed the life out of him when he came upstairs to the box. I feel for the first time in a long time now, we have some direction again. After the 10 point deduction, the lads were like, let's roll our sleeves up. Let's show these people what we're all about. And to turn it round the way they did is just absolutely phenomenal. No other club in the league has ever been deducted 10 points. That's enough of that. <laughs> if you actually look out onto the pitch from these seats, this is why we're moving, because if that ball goes more than 20 feet in the air, you can't see it. When Waza scored the goal here, there's no way you've seen that ball. I sat here for the derby when that horrible man, Steven Gerrard, scored. Ah, man, get hold of you, I'll pull that tongue out of your mouth. Horrible, horrible man. I'm definitely going to rip a seat out and take it home. I'm just going to let the club know now. I would like KK147, that was my old season ticket seat. It's probably someone else's season ticket seat now. But I'm going to come in here on the last game. I'm going to go to KK147 and I'm going to take it. Goodison Park, the old lady. It's coming to an end and I'm going to miss this place more than anyone. There's nothing better than when you've got to throw your head around the pillar to see the goal go in. And I've been doing it since the day I come here. When we move over to Bramley Moor, I genuinely believe that I'm 85 days of coming back right to that place. We've just got to stick together, believe in the system, and back the manager. It just looks a picture of beauty, doesn't it? And it's nowhere near finished yet. It's just, it looks like a state-of-the-art stadium, which it's going to be. We are come here. Oh, with this in the background. Come here. Have a lovely day. Oh, you want a photo of you? Don't worry, lad. There you go, champ. Let's just show that to your mates, they'll, they'll let you know. The one person that's made this all possible, the amazing Bill Kenwright. Without the chairman, Bramley Moor would never have come to fruition. Yeah, I'm just gutted, he's not going to be able to see it, but he'll be watching with a smile on his face, and that stadium's just going to be the culmination of all the hard work.